Hello and welcome, this is Roofmonger. Now, I am very sure that most of you are very well aware that uh, double supers, you know, the same character doing multiple supers back to back, has been nerfed in Season 2. So, you know, something like this here, uh, good old reliable Tien, often picked for the fact that he can do multiple supers, uh, doesn't work so good anymore. So we do Tri-Beam, and let's call Chiaotzu, and Chiaotzu does... 720 damage, which is a far cry from the over 2,000 it used to do in the exact same combo, right? And for characters like Tien specifically, multiple tri-beams, all that, still takes the same amount of health, doesn't deal the same amount of damage, it's really unfortunate. And uh, this isn't really to debate the change, because I think it's good on some characters and less good on characters like Tien. Uh, but this is to inform you that there are still some characters that can do multiple supers back to back with no consequence, and it's the same damage that it's always been. So let's look at our first case here, and that is Yamcha. So uh, a lot of people were not happy when this change was made, but trust me, uh, if Yamcha was changed, it'd be screaming bloody murder because it's a massive part of the appeal of the character. So uh, if we just do a basic combo like this, As you can see here, so we're going right into our level 3 after the Spirit Ball, and yeah, same damage as always. So, uh, our level 1 into level 3 with Yamcha is completely untouched. Another one that is fully unchanged is Broly's delayed level 3 into his level 1. So, we're just going to give you a quick example here. So, we're doing the delayed level 3, and yes, you can still Dragon Rush afterwards, just so you know. Here we are, Dragon Rushing, level 1, and the damage is unchanged as it's always been. So, uh, just like Yamcha, Broly, level 3 into level 1 specifically, still works just fine. Videl is another example, and she's a little bit unique in that uh, the scaling is unchanged even if you do a level 1 into a level 1 or a level 1 into a level 3. And she can do these solo, no help of any assists. So level 1 here does the same damage. Now keep in mind, uh, it does a little over 600 damage normally. This is a lower scaling super. Uh, it does not do as much as the uh, average super will uh, with minimum scaling. And uh, considering the uh, multiple supers and the follow-ups and all that, it's very much by design. And also we can just go directly into a level 3 as well. Now, as you can see here, the level 3, we already did level 1, also going to do its full damage, well, full minimum scaling damage anyways, uh, after the level 1 super. And if you did do the counter super and got the powered up Saiyaman, it'll actually even do even higher minimum damage scaling than usual. And our final case study in this video is Blue Vegeta. Now, Blue Vegeta is a bit finicky. Um, he can get uh, multiple supers, fine, full damage, but only off the held version of the Niagara Pummel. So the one that bounces off the wall. And if you uh, use your smash attack, you're not going to get that wall bounce, just so you know. Uh, so you can do uh, another Niger Pump will get full damage. You can do the Gallic Gun Super and get full damage. And you can do your level 3 and get full damage. All those are fine. Uh, you will always get full damage off the held version of Niagara Pummel. Uh, it's just a matter of it has to be that first. So going into the Gallic Gun here, we do our full usual damage, even though we've already done the uh, super beforehand. And once again, it could be another Niagara Pummel, it could be uh, the Final Flash, doesn't matter. It'll always do the regular full unscaled damage. Now, once again, it's a bit of an oddball. You can't use your Smash Attack in the middle of a combo beforehand if you want uh, the held Niagara Pummel to bounce. And if it bounces, then... You know, we can go from there. Uh, it does do a little bit less damage than most supers, but uh, after you kind of cross under and get your extra hits in, then uh, it's comparable to a regular level one. Uh, so, yeah, that's just uh, showing off Vegeta Blue. And there you have it. 
So these are the four characters I'm currently aware of that can circumvent the rules for multiple super damage scaling in the uh, new Season 2 patch. Now, is there more characters I'm not aware of? Eh, probably. Uh, especially because we know, uh, especially with Vegeta Blue, that there's kind of weird rules. So, once again, everything has to start with the held version of Niagara Pummel. So if we do, like, multiple Galaguns, which is not difficult, uh, we actually uh, still will be subject to scaling. So here we are doing a very basic combo here. And we're going to do uh, two Galakans. As you see here, it's scaled very poorly. So uh, it has to be off the held Niagara Pommel. So uh, even though we can get an unscaled Galak Gun after this with that specific setup, a Galak Gun to a Galak Gun doesn't work. So who knows if other characters don't have these weird caveats that we are not yet aware of and uh, are yet to be discovered. Anyways, I just want to let you guys know what's going on with that, and that's it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has found you well. Go out and play some Dragon Ball.